Hello, thanks for joining us. This is Brendan Anderson with KDOL, and we're here at the Warriors practice facility on the eve of the 2016-17 season. Last year was uh, just we're picking up where we left off, and, and it showed. We won our first 24 games, and we we're right out of the out of the blocks. But this year, it's there's a lot more of a feeling out process that's going to happen over the next few weeks. Warriors are coming off a 73-9 and season where they went to the finals for the second time in a row, even though they ended up losing to the Cleveland Cavaliers in Game 7. Last year was just a carryover from the year before. Not much adjustment. But this year there's some pretty big adjustments to make, just in terms of lineups and, and getting comfortable together. I, you know, coming in practice every day, we, we're not talking about the pressure or what we have to do in order for us to uh, move up to your expectations. You just come in and work every single day and let that take care of itself. But that's the easiest thing to do. When you worry about the future and worry about the past, you know, it's a good time to mess up the present. So we just try to stay in the moment. Every single day, keep getting better and uh, you know, uh, focus on every moment at a time. I try to look too far down the line. And uh, we, we're not settled on the rotation and how it's going to look. We're still experimenting, but hopefully we, uh, we get better while we're going through that. Tomorrow night, the San Antonio Spurs will be in town for the home opener for the Golden State Warriors. Can't wait to see Pop down on the other sideline. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. I still have teammates from the Spurs that are on that team. And I'm old as dirt, so that means <laughs> they too are now old as, maybe not dirt, but like dust. <laughs> then they added Kevin Durant, the biggest free agent signing that the Warriors have ever had. Well, he's so good, he generally plays well with everybody, but um, I think um, I think what we're looking for is not so much who Kevin plays well with, is, is what happens when Steph goes off the floor. You know, that's, that was, that's been the case for the last two years. You know, who, who are the right guys when Steph leaves? And it's still the case, even with KD. Um, we're still trying to find um, the right combination with KD without Steph. Um, things seem to change dramatically when Steph goes off the floor. Even, um, even this year, you know, we, we can put plenty of talent on the floor, but the game changes, if, you know, and, and we have to get better with our execution when he's, when he's off, and that means finding the right group uh, around Kevin. And that's one thing I actually didn't understand coming in here, that everything is going to be taken and used as a headline. So. Uh, you know, it's definitely a, a learning experience for me, not used to all this coverage around the team and, you know, everything we do being, in the, being broadcasted. So, but that's just a part of the job, you know. That's why we get paid the way we do, and that's why we are who we are as players. It's, you know, you, uh, you're kind of prone to, to criticism. So, you just got to keep moving forward and, and handle it in between the lines. That's the most important thing. Everything on the outside doesn't matter. We'll see you at the Warriors game tomorrow night. Tuesday, where the San Antonio Spurs come to town to test the defending Western Conference champion Golden State Warriors. You can get tickets throughout the season at warriors.com. This is Brendan Anderson from KDOL Sports. Thank you for joining us today here at the Warriors facility. We'll catch you on the rebound.